Hello everyone. I am here to give you all insights on top most medical colleges in India. Uh, as you all know that eligibility for joining MBBS or BDS uh, is NEET. You all know this. That is NEET stands for National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. This is compulsory exam. Uh, you will have to qualify for entering into MBBS or BDS in any colleges in India. But if we think like many students ask us, sir, which is the topmost medical college in India? Like for engineering, we have topmost engineering colleges, which produces uh, best uh, quality engineers is IITs. You know this Indian Institute of Technology. We have IITs for uh, topmost engineering colleges in India. Then what about uh, medi medicine? Like for MBBS, which is the topmost medical colleges in India? We have only one answer for this. That is AIMS. It stands for All India Institute of Medical Science. Let us have more information on what is uh, AIMS and how many seats are available for MBBS in AIMS. At present, by the year 2022, we have 20 different AIMS in India, located at different places in India. So let us uh, list them, okay, and then. I'll tell you the names of these aims also and how many seats are available for MBBS and also I'll give you cutoff of each category seats available like what percentage of seats are available for what category. Till the year 2020, 2020 that is 2020 there was there are there were separate exams for aims like aims exam was separate and neat exam was separate neat was conducted separately by nta nta stands for national testing agency this is the organization nta is the organization which used to conduct neat in india for joining mbbs and bds courses in india but till the year 2020 that is just two years before uh, AIMS exam got cancelled. Now there is no separate AIMS exam to join AIMS that is topmost medical colleges in India. Now uh, from past two years that is from 2020 onwards till 2022 they consider only NEET exam as the criteria for joining uh, AIMS. So now based on the NEET ranking based on the NEET ranking they will give admission to AIMS. So let us see how many different AIMS are there. The topmost is Delhi. It is located at Delhi, which has around 100 seats. Why I'm saying around 100 seats? Because every year some seats will vary because some seats government will sanction. Okay, so according to that, almost all the AIMS except one or two which I am going to name now except those aims which have only 50 seats for uh, MBPS in aims but remaining it is almost 100 to 125 seats available. So I will tell you what uh, what exactly is the category cutoff like for which category what percentage of MBPS seats are available in all 20 aims that goes in a similar manner cutoff remains same. If you think like that, uh, re, that is for unreserved category. Unreserved means we talk about general merit. One who doesn't belong to any category or any reservation. This is unreserved will have 35.5% seats. Now, AIMS Delhi has 100 seats for MBBS. Out of that 100 seats, 35.5% of that seat will be uh, meant for unreserved that is for general merit then 27 percent of the seats are meant for obc that is other backward castes then 15 percent of the seats are reserved for scheduled caste that is sc then government of india recently introduced ews category ews is economically weak society this can be for general merit also it is based on it is not based on the caste it is based on income of that is family income of that person like to come under EWS even 
unreserved or general merit category students also can apply but some conditions are there to fall into this EWS category the conditions are uh, their family income should not be more than 8 lakhs per annum that is their family income that is fathers mothers uh, entire family income should not be more than 8 lakhs per year if their family income is more than 8 lakhs then they will fall in unreserved category then if they own a house that should not be more than 1000 square feet if their house uh, is more than 1000 square feet they don't belong to EWS so if they have this category the seats available in AIMS will be 10% 10% of 10% of the seats that is out of 100 10 seats will be available for EWS then ST scheduled tribe for them 7.5% seats are available in AIMS then at last uh, person with disabilities what we say PWD category like if they have some disabilities like we say the person is handicapped in that case they have 5% reservation in AIMS even though they score uh, slightly low ranking in NEET also they can get into AIMS I, I don't mean low ranking means very low ranking with 1500 ranking also they can get into Delhi AIMS which requires all India within 100 ranking what about second aims it was only in 2012 in 2012 second aims was established which which is in second place in the rank wise category like if you see uh, out of 20 aims which is topmost aims which is Delhi then which aims fall in second place that is uh, Jodhpur Rajasthan Okay, it was established in the year 2012 and the same year 2012 six aims were added okay six aims were established so even Jodhpur Rajasthan also has that aims also has 125 seats for MBBS then which is in third place is aims Bhubaneswar which is in Odisha which has 125 seats then aims Bhopal is in fourth place which belongs to Madhya Pradesh which has 125 seats then fifth place is Ames Patna which is in Bihar which has 125 seats then sixth place is Ames Raipur which is in Chhattisgarh Chhattisgarh which has highest seats out of all 20 Ames that is 250 plus seats are available in Ames Raipur which is in 6th place then 7th is Ames Rishikesh which is in Uttarakhand which has 125 seats which is near river Ganga what we call the Ganges then in the year 2013 2013 Ames Rai Bareli which is in UP which has only 50 seats for MBBS then Ames Nagpur which is in 9th place which belongs to Maharashtra state which has 125 seats and Ames Nagpur was added in the year 2018 which is in 10th place is Mangalagiri which is in Andhra Pradesh it was established in the year 2018 so that means in 2018 two aims were established that is Nagpur and Mangalagiri so if you look at the fees if you look at the fees in all these aims is just 1350 rupees so now you cannot say that for joining MBBS you need money you need only talent if you just have talent you can get into MBBS that too in aims the fees, tuition fees per year for MBBS is just 1350 rupees and for that also government will give scholarship so hardly you are paying nothing for getting MBBS just you need talent so I hope you all try to get into AIMS all 20 AIMS together it is less than 3000 seats available so that in need you have to get 
ranking within 3000 then only you can get into aims okay so let us see what are the other aims there that is aims which is in 11th place is aims gorakhpur that is in up uttar pradesh which was established in the year 2019 which has 125 seats so aims which is in 12th place established in the year 2019 is guntur aims guntur which belongs to telangana then 13th place aims batinda that is in punjab which has 100 seats established in the year 2019 then next place is aims kalyani which is in 14th place and it belongs to west bengal then aims diogar that is in jharkhand which has 62 seats which was established in the year 2019 but now the seats are seats are increased to 100 so 100 seats are available in uh, diogar aims jharkhand then which is in uh, 16th place that is a first aims in 2020 what established that is aims rajkot which belongs to gujarat which has only 50 seats available for mbbs then which is in 17th place is aims guwahati aims guwahati which is established in the year 2020 100 seats are available in this uh, then 18th place uh, is aims vijaypur which is in j and k that is jammu kashmir which has 100 seats and uh, last aims that is 20th aims is aims baisalpur which belongs to himachal pradesh which has 100 seats established in the year 2020 so totally 20 aims together it will be around 3000 or less than 3000 seats available uh, for mbbs in aims so you should try to get into aims so your first preference for medicine should be joining aims which is a topmost medical colleges in india then if you can't get into aims then your uh, aim should be uh, joining other medical colleges in india i hope uh, you got lot of information about aims and uh, the fee structure there and the cutoff like for which category what percentage seats are available for aims so if you like our video please subscribe our channel and please share this information with your friends and please give like to this video thank you